Hello, Constantine. Welcome to the uh, Floss booth at Euroluce. This new, your new project for Floss is called Noctambul. Can you describe it? Yes, the new uh, collection of lamps is um, it's essentially made of glass, of blown glass, which is uh, totally transparent and see-through, but it has reflections. When it's uh, not switched on during the day, it's uh, almost invisible. At night, when you switch it on, it comes to life. Uh, and that kind of uh, inspired the name Noctambul, uh, the, the, you know, the creature that is invisible during the day and comes to life, to activity, uh, also to, um, to you know, celebrate at night. It is a very poetic and yet very technological piece. Can you uh, tell us how did you manage to maintain both qualities in the same project? Well, I think it's really the, the technology of today that makes poetry possible because technology is, can be so sophisticated, so miniaturized, invisible. Um, and I, we, we had this idea of, um, of the light source being something floating, um, uh, something that certainly wasn't just a dot, uh, anything remotely reminiscent of the traditional light source, the bulb, but like a halo, like something uh, magical. Um, so the, 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 the ring light was, was there from the beginning, but in order to dissolve it, to make it flow, um, or float even, um, um, made us think of the of the glass uh, the glass uh, columns of the modules and this collection is made up of different typologies of uh, of lamps is that correct the original um, idea of this was um, was a column uh, having the glass module and stacking it on top of each other connecting it with these kind of rings of light then we realized we can also hang the uh, the column from a ceiling like this one uh, creating a lamp that you can imagine in a stairwell hanging in a, or in, in very tall buildings like a chandelier. But then we, we started playing around with the, the modules and the possibilities and added a few extra components, uh, a kind of half sphere, uh, like a cupola, and uh, it created a, a pendant lamp. We um, put the cupola on top of the column, which creates a very um, kind of, um, let's say, important uh, uplighter. Um, uh, we made uh, this, we, we used the singular glass module as a small lantern uh, on three legs. It, um, it wasn't an idea from the beginning to create a family of products. But the more we engaged in the project and, and, and understood the, the kind of the technical potential, uh, in fact, of uh, working with the glass modules plus the technological element of the light, we understood that we, we had choices. Uh, we, we could make um, different lights, which doesn't mean that we can do everything. And that's really important. A system or modular structure may allow for some variations, but by no means you know, doing everything so we, we've, we, we've been selective. I think it is important to, to make just those lamps that really have a, um, a, have a real um, an importance and a relevance and, and also a performance. I'm, I think that the lamp, which has a strong poetic, you may even say decorative um, um, kind of quality, is also a high performance lamp. There is, there is a, um, a very controlled performance in these rings and in other lamps we, we integrate up lighter, down lighter. Um, so we are playing with, um, with very potential and um, controlled light uh, in this object, which makes that the light mm, seem very almost secondary. Is this new poetic quality that is uh, a little bit new in, uh, in your production, uh, defining a kind of new uh, period in your design philosophy, or is just uh, the glass, the material that gives this uh, particular feeling? 
I think it's, it, you know, the, the chandelier made of glass is a, is a very classical typology of, of lamps. And it's, it's probably something that I, I've had in, in mind for a long time. But, you know, it's, 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 um, it happens like that, that you, you may carry something around until there's a trigger that kind of um, makes an idea crystallize into something more concrete. And um, I've worked with glass before, but more on a, on a very industrial level of, uh, you know, drinking glasses, um, simple products. Uh, this one, which is uh, of the, you know, just incredible because of its size, the, the volume, the scale of it, um, is, uh, is fascinating. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on, a, on a, almost a classic typology of a lamp, but transforming it completely into, into a new object just by um, the, the possibilities we have today with uh, the light source of what that is and, and uh, sophisticated structural technology that we can integrate. And, and in fact, the challenge was combining the, the blown glass, which has a tolerance, it's, it's, it's an organic uh, element, with a high precision uh, molded um, technical element, the joint and the light source. Great, thank you so much. I think Noctambul is going to be a great icon. And my last question, are you a Noctambul yourself? No, yeah. no I'm, I'm not actually. I'm, I'm, I'm quite the opposite. I, I'm, I'm uh, an early bird. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I'm better getting up early in the morning and enjoying the day. But I, 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 I do like the idea of the Noctambul, um, of the, you know, the, the, the life that, that comes into activity at night. I, I wish I was like that, but I'm not. <laughs> so I Thank you so much, Constantine, for being yeah, here. Thank thanks. you so much.